History Day is a nationwide competition for high school students who research their favorite parts of the past. Regional and state competitors or competitions have already been held, and the national meet is coming up in June. The two Northlanders are going to be going, and Dave Anderson tells us what topics they'll be investigating in this week's Holding On to History. The late David Carpola's mother spotted a Japanese sub off the coast of Santa Barbara in the early days of World War II, so she moved her family to Duluth. David became a successful businessman and spent his fortune opening museums filled with historic documents. Last week, his Duluth Museum played host to a fundraiser for History Day. That's a national competition for school kids. It gives students an opportunity to pick a topic of their choice, and they link it to a theme, and they can present that information in a variety of ways. 16-year-old Margaret Johnson chose to present her information in the form of a website. Her topic is the American Indian Religious Freedom Act. It went into effect in 1978, and it guarantees the First Amendment's right of religious freedom for Native Americans. Margaret is taking her website to the National History Day competition in Maryland in June. Joining her will be 15-year-old Anna Keto. Her topic will be the role of Ms. Magazine in the feminist movement of the 70s. It had an uh, impact on how feminist issues were presented in mainstream media. Northland participants in History Day competitions in the past include Billy Menner, Adam Neepkins, and Samuel Phillips. Sue Denaya was a longtime History Day mentor, and she thinks Margaret and Anna will do well at the national competition. I think these are awesome projects. The research they both have done is amazing. Uh, looking for interviews, looking for context and impact and how that lives on. Duluth Carpola's museum director Matthew Shaleen is glad to help raise money for the History Day trip to Maryland. He thinks founder David would be pleased too. I think it's a little bit on the nose, so he probably would have laughed. This is exactly what he wanted. This is exactly why we have these museums. Holding on to history in Duluth, Dave Anderson, Northern News Now. And the National History Day contest is going to take place June 9th to 13th at the University of Maryland. Margaret and Anna are going to be competing just 12 miles from Washington, D.C.